having that stigma as a child, cancer, my mom used to tell me, be careful who you tell, tell people to, because they'll judge you about that. I had this scar as a kid on my abdomen. I always knew I was a little different, you know, uh, that I, I, I was not, hey, I never fit in or whatever, but um, knowing that you, you had cancer as a kid and that you're, you're healthy, if not twice as strong as most of the people I grew up with, um, it was still one of these things like, oh gosh, maybe is there something wrong with you? You know, are you contagious? You know, is the devil punishing you and your family or whatever? Um, I got my DNA test through 23andMe. I highly recommend it. It showed that pollution during the, at the moment of conception when I was conceived is what led to a childhood cancer. Um, so uh, if you're out there and you're, you're, you're ever wondering, hey, you know, you know, if, uh, if Ollie's uh, capable of, of having kids, I'm totally fertile. I'm to totally capable of having children, and I would love to have a, a, a family um, and children uh, someday. Um, so, yeah, I'm a cancer survivor, and um, together we can uh, beat cancer. And I would love to donate a large portion of the proceeds of any sales of the artwork um, to fighting cancer and um, stopping the pollution that causes cancer. So please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like one of my goofy videos. I hope they go viral. Just trying to make you laugh, folks. Life is too short to be fussing and fighting. And um, we got to do the best we can to take care of our loved ones and our family, even if they're mentally ill and <sighs> have cost caused a lot of pain um, for, for people without even realizing it, okay? And uh, I'm not here trying to be, make the pity party or anything like that. It's quite the contrary. We're united as one, one people, one universe. Having lost both my parents to cancer, I, I, I can't tell you how how much more important that seems to me than a lot of the other bullshit things this country has been focused on. Okay, especially since President Nixon. Now Nixon, he did one good thing about funding cancer, but uh, this bullshit with this war on drugs and all this nonsense and shit, it's just got to end, you know? Uh, we need compassion and, and love and hugs for people who have problems. People um, become addicted to drugs, not because they don't have any willpower, it's because their drugs take control of themselves, because there's something inside themselves that they haven't reconciled, that they need to replace with some kind of substance. Okay? So, um, I hope in your heart um, that you don't judge me um, and because, uh, you know, um, appearances uh, are, can be deceiving. And uh, just like the scar on my belly, it doesn't mean anything other than just a scar if you didn't know me. But as a child, um, knowing that I had cancer, always, always was something I had to keep to myself. I, I, I my mom used to tell me, don't tell people that, you know, they'll judge you or think you're weird or different or something's wrong with you. So, yeah, it's just something for, for food for thought. Peace, love, and harmony, harmony. And I hope that the light from within my heart goes into your heart and warms it. Namaste.